What? Yeah. Yikes. Whoa. All right. Who we'll let? Who we'll let? What, if that's we'll what you want, New York. Numbers. Get into Go. losers finals for Zeno 200. Okay. Now. Okay. So now we actually got Juice going ZSS for Palu. I like the idea. It's going to give him proper mobility. Not that Greninja is lacking any mobility, but Zero Suit's also going to be able to contest the skies pretty well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's strange that, you know, he opted actually for the Greninja Ditto and didn't even look at any of the other characters. But for this, he immediately went to ZSS. No questions asked. So, there has to be a reason for it. Yeah. Potential preference, or maybe he just wants to try and kill a little earlier, or yeah, I don't maybe know. more reliably kill. That could be it, too. Because yeah. fighting the Greninja Ditto against Venia, it seems like every interaction was risky. Like, even a trying to fish for a kill. At least mm -hmm. here, Zero Suit can just do it sometimes. Oh, yeah. Right, like right now, ZSS can still just do it <laughs> to power this percent. Ooh. I guess back air hitting low enough also helps in certain situations like that because up tilt wasn't going to be able to contest. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a lot of little things that can make this matchup doable for uh, for Juice. I'm curious to see where it goes. Yeah. And oh. uh, But right now, uh, Jen seems like he's in the lead pretty significantly. So he can take the stock right now with the back throw. He doesn't seem like he's playing, like, pressured too heavily, which is impressive given the fact that it's Zero Suit who's slamming on the shield every so often. Yeah. Like, he's given Juice a proper amount of space to approach in. He's responding accordingly. Contesting a lot of the empty hops with Nair and then just back airing where he needs to. He's not taking a lot of risk, and it's working out great for him. You know, and I, and I think, especially when it comes to the ledge, um, the fact that ZS, ZSS's flip kick got nerfed, so, like, when you go to contest it, you don't get punished for getting hit by it because reasons. Right, um, right. So now, it's like you can just mash out of it. I mean, like, yeah, she has to get, can still get a follow-up, but you won't die for it. So. Plus, think, like, if Jen's going to be heavy mashing out of it while rising, he, depending on where Zero Suit is, he can try to pick off the bear and there. But yeah. nonetheless, Juice doing a good job keeping it even. I like how Juice isn't, like, committing too heavily to grounded uh, movement. He's trying to stay in the air a lot. I feel like at least with, with Stadium, if he tries to keep those interactions closer to the plats, it's going to be safer for him, just because he can at least mix up how he's going to want to approach it on Alan. Yeah. You know what? It, it seems like, uh, it seems like Jen is just staying very, very far away from Juice, like you were saying. And it's just like whenever Juice commits to an option, Jen is just there to punish him really hard. And then push, push him right back to the ledge. You know what I'm realizing about that distance that that Jen's trying to keep? Is it seems like it's at a distance where he doesn't have to worry about Zare as much, nor does he have to worry about any, like, dash jump-in option that can come out of Zero Suit. Like, oh, all yeah. that is just time that Zero Suit has to traverse to get to Palu. So there's all the time in the world to respond to any type of option. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you, and you do need that space, right? And... Uh, Jen also is like a very reactionary player, and Ooh. what happened there? Oh no, it looked like he tried to cancel out his Zair so that you can mix up his recovery, but he canceled out his stock instead. You hate <laughs> to see it. Ooh. Yeah, and um, the lingering side view catching Jen off the ledge. No good stuff by Juice. It's going to be such a weird move. It's got so many ways it can send you. One of the many things about Zero Suit that just doesn't seem right. Ooh, that, that didn't seem right, he got shield blocked. Ooh. And that was a setup. Did you see how Jen was also angling his shield upwards too? Like he knew the shenanigans was gonna happen. And it still happened anywhere. And see right there, just no fear coming out from Jen. Just going to punish that um that flip kick. Oh don't. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a that's a cheese. That's like that's like Fox 4 throw shine, like. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to go for it at least once a set. Yeah, but I think it's too early for Juice to be trying to crank up the premium cheese right now. Then again, I guess in this kind of a situation, you gotta go for the golds. Do whatever. Yeah, you're down by takes. a lot right now. For what it's worth, though, I think he's out of the down throw back air range now. So yeah, well, um, at kill percents now, Palo doesn't have a uh, down throw back air. Mid percents, yeah, for damage, but at this point, it won't kill. Yeah, there we go, though. Jen's tried and true. Mm -hmm. And he's he was doing that even before the the buff. So yeah, I remember there was some Xenos where we would look at it. And it's like he's he's like innovating with the character, the mm -hmm. character that everyone complains about. Nair, all of a sudden, single hit Nair is like. Like that's more like that's more reliable of a confirm. Also, yeah. I'm I'm learning that z like single hit nair, depending on like which part of the nair it is, has some really janky things going on with it. Like Palers, I think they got some work ahead of them, but this character still got like unsavory sauce. Oh no, this character is still ridiculous. 
Don't like, sleep. There's never time to sleep. And he's going Falco. Okay. All right. Now, I expected this to come out at some point. So I expected it to lead. Because, like, I know in certain branches, there are, there are opinions that Falco either goes even or Shreya beats Palu. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Like, I, I've been seeing that a lot. And, um... Not, I mean, I'm not really sure the reason. Maybe because of his boxing game and his ground game. You know, superior to Palu's, but... Yeah, he's got a... He has a really reliable... Uh, combo game. He's able to contest in the skies, which is always important for Palu. Like, if she has undenied airspace, she gets away with criminal activity. But Falco, he's there. He's ready to swing at all times. Oh, yeah. He's definitely about it. Oh, you died. What? No. Okay. 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 And, um, Juice still in the league and got the up smash. And that, ooh, that was slightly bad DI. But. Um, probably didn't even expect to hit in that direction like that anyway, so... Yeah, that was a really screwy uh, interaction. Nonetheless, it's a lead that Juice will take. Let's see how well he can hold it. Yeah, and I'm just liking this, this uh, laser usage. You know, in game one, it just seemed like Dan was trying to keep the spacing right now. Whenever there's space in between them, Juice is shooting that laser and is trying to make Jen approach any way he can. I feel like that's always been the great equalizer for Falco, though, is that, like, yeah, he's got this great combo game, yeah, he's got no shortage of kill options, but forcing in that approach with laser is so useful in this game. It's yeah. working out real good for Juice now. He's dominating on Smashville. Yeah, and just like every time Palu gets close to him, Falco's just like, okay, it's time to play the game, and puts him in a cutscene. It's a little too deep for him to properly punish. That's still on the hunt, though. Down throw the forward here? Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Juice yeah, has been pretty suspect for the games I've seen on stream. And, woo, 54% conversion. Okay. And if he grabbed the right way, he could have made it go even further, but instead, Juice gets his numbers in. Oh, <laughs> it lasts okay. long enough for the two lasers, man. Ooh, that's depressing. Uh, right now, Jen is just bringing this. Jen, wow. That was. What was that? Was that, a, was that like a 20 second stop? That was, was it <laughs> shorter than that. Was, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. Uh, I mean, nonetheless, what was a runaway game for Juice all of a sudden is looking much more even, and Juice even trying to go for the sauce at the ledge down air. Yeah. And and one thing that Palu does struggle with that Falco excels at punishing is landing. Um, Palu doesn't really have the best landing options. You saw Jen trying to land with an air, and Juice is anti-airing him with the up tilt. Like, what are you gonna do about that? Generally speaking, Falco's always done very well against characters that are forced to retreat to the ledge because of their poor landing options. Because he could just chase them at the ledge so well. Excellent play from Juice. Getting into the three. Had enough already? And yeah. one thing I was going to say is how, like, Palu, for all the great tools that she has in this game, at the end of it all, is still like a zoning character. She still wants to force that approach. She still wants to break away, use her tools just to keep you at bay or break safely. And, like... Because of that, or at least how most zoners are in Smash, she's not going to have the best of landing options, or very predictable ones if she does have good enough buttons to like try to get on top of someone's shield mm -hmm. for. And we're going to run this to PS2. How, how did you let this stage happen? Look. I don't know. Maybe doesn't Falcon get some like good extensions? Also on PS2, but 51%. Ooh. Yo, he tried just with jab one. And... Now you got 50% back here, back in your direction. And it's just, you know, Juice is just slightly, slightly altering the the timing of some of these aerials and just catching Jen a little bit off guard. I like that. All right, what's the option? Uh, are these conversions? Some of these conversions? Sure, I feel like he's not supposed to be getting down through fair at this percent anymore. Yeah, no, I, I feel like it's a mixture of Juice having seemingly random DI at times. Ooh, you know what it is? I think he's DIing in because he just doesn't want to get thrown too far off stage by Palu for, with a forward go. Probably, probably what it is. That's fair, because then at that point, like, drop zone Nair is just going to yeah. be able to eat any option. Yeah, and you're still a spacey at the end of the day, so you don't want that to happen. So. Oh, that was a huge string to give him more sta total stage advantage. Oh, hold on. Ooh, that dash back. Ooh, you can't be rising up with up air like that, Jen. Nine times out of ten, gonna get caught out for it. Oh! Okay. Stop dashing back! Okay. Bro, and everyone complains about dash back and ultimate. It's supposed to be a meme. You can't be doing that. Well, Hold the, on. Oh, and, yeah, and Jen called out that forward air. He hasn't been getting poked by, you know, those um, long-ass hitboxes by Falco Forward at all. 
Not at this point in the bracket. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, we're, we're deep, deep in the top four. Like, you know you have all your attention fixed. You're oh, not yeah. going to get nipped by any little hitbox. That's going to be nonsense. Lingering. Like, Ultimate's got plenty of jank to deliver on occasion, but you got to keep your eyes open to minimize that. Oh, yeah. Caught the jump Ooh, with yeah. it, but not going to be able to snipe. Ooh. Just not getting that turnaround that he wanted. Down throw. Oh, All right, buddy. Ring the air dodge again, but a little bit off. And he? All right. A little bit of a jog to the down tilt. Pretty confident space. Oh, that doesn't look like that was the right option. Yeah, and it looks like Jen tried to call up the dash back again. Um, and this time, actually, Juice actually was like, no, not dashing back. Oh, no, yeah. No. Oh, that was a, that looked very disjointed. I think that's just a, an issue with Polly's down air. I know it's it's like the hit of it's only active for, for one frame. I think it's frame 10. I'll have to be corrected on that. Really? But nonetheless, it's only there for a little bit. It's probably, like, her highest risk-reward option. Yeah, and right now, um, speaking of risk-reward, Juice is going high, knowing that the risk is getting damaged with the reward is not dying. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, by all means, like, any aerial besides down air off the top is popping this Falco stock. But good on Juice for being brave enough to contest, because he's racking up that damage really nice. Unfortunately, it's going to be a back air that meets the end, and this is potential last stock for Juice in the tournament. Yeah, that invincible back air, man. Ooh, I like it. Dancing with him. Ooh, yeah. And waiting for the air to come to the platform. And Juice still still chasing Jen. Oh. Okay. Uh, how do you think uh, Juice is going to go about taking the stock? I feel like if he gets some sort of setup into back air, he'll be he'll be fine. I feel like he can't go for anything that's too, like, too risky. Because given the percentages, if he racks up any more damage onto himself... He's running too great of a risk on last stock situation. Uh, oh, speaking of which. Yeah, no, that's going to be that. All right. Fourth place for Juice tonight. Given given the hellscape that is Xeno 200, that is not a bad placing, yeah. but Jen decided he is not done yet. Yeah, man. He, man, think about it. He beat Fenny in the Ninja Ditto. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've actually ever seen Benny lose a Greninja Ditto before. Like, he's been like JW in the Greninja Ditto. Like he's been a lot of. He, I've games. seen those games every once in a blue moon, but like a whole set is. Yeah. He's been. I that's definitely he's... something to write home about. Yeah, man. Um, so good, you know, good performance by Juice, coming out showing off the Zeno 200. You know, a Philly guy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sole representative of Philly left, and now uh, it's up to John to stop him.